Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Students, today we will solve this question. Let f and g be continuous function of a real variable. Uh, f and g both are continuous function of real variable such that here we are given that uh, g of x is equal to g of x is equal to 0 to x. Uh, then we have f of y and uh, y minus x y minus x and d of y for all x. If g is three times continuously differentiable function, what is the greatest integer n for which f must be n time continuously uh, differentiable? So if g is three times continuously uh, differentiable, we want uh, how much time the f is uh, continuously different? One time, two time, or three times. So here we are given that one time, two time, three time, four time, five time. So uh, I am writing g in this form, 0 to x, f of y, y, d of y, minus integral 0 to x, x, f of y, and dy. So you can see that just I can separate uh, y minus x. So I am again simplifying this equation. G of x is equal to 0 to x, y, f of y, d of y minus x is constant with respect to dy. So 0 to x, f of y, and dy. Okay, friends. Now I am writing here some important result of fundamental theorem of calculus. Fundamental theorem of calculus. You know that if we have integral from a to b, f of x and d of x. So we can write this in this form of f of b minus f of a. Okay. Or we can write a prime of x which is integral of the f of x, small f of x, is equal to f of x, or we can write this f of x integral is equal to derivative of the function. Okay. Now, if I use here integration by parts, here we are, uh, our integral is, so uh, here our integral is basically 0 to x, 0 to x, y, f of y, d of y. And I am using here the integration by parts. OK, so integration by parts gives me first function, integral of the second function, which is equal to f of, f of y, some function of y definitely f of y and uh, we have a limit from 0 to x minus 0 to x. The derivative of the first function with respect to y is 1. Then we have f of y and d of y. So basically integral of f of y is again the function of f of y. So we can write this in this form. It's not a big deal. So now this is equal to x f of x, when we put the limit 0, it is equal to 0 minus 0 to x f of y d of y. Now we use this result in this place of this here in this integral. So now it's mean that by fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, we can write this g prime of x is equal to integral of this side x f of x minus 0 to x f of y d of y minus x f of x. Because the integral of this is, you know that x and uh, by fundamental theorem of integral, this integral is f of x. Okay, so this term cancel with this term. So we have minus integral 0 to x f of y, d of y. Now, if we take the second derivative of g of x, 
so by fundamental theorem of calculus we have f of x minus and f of 0 so f of 0 is basically f of 0 is basically some constant okay so it's mean that g prime of x is minus f of x minus minus plus f of z. Now we are given that g is three times differentiable. g triple prime of x is equal to minus f prime of x and derivative of constant function is equal to zero. So it's mean that g triple prime of x is equal to minus f prime of x. It's mean that f is f is one time differentiable. Okay, now we choose the best one option. So here we have the option A is the best option. Uh, G is uh, one time differentiable. Thank you for watching.